Hello, this is Kevin Kimball. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on finding the Form 10K for a publicly traded company. This is for my online accounting course. You should be here in the topic titled Explain the Role of Management, the Internal Auditor, and External Auditor. And you've just learned about how publicly traded companies have to submit their annual reports, audited annual reports, to the Securities Exchange Commission each year. The Securities Exchange Commission, SEC, then posts those for shareholders and any other interested party, parties free online. And this is how you do it. Click on this Edgar link. As you can see, it's on the sec.gov website slash Edgar slash search Edgar slash webusers.htm. And as you can see, you can search in a number of different ways. I want to search the first way which is company name or the ticker symbol which is the abbreviation for the company name let's assume I don't know the ticker symbol from Microsoft although I do it's MSFT click on search and you can see there may be a few companies with the same name we wanted Microsoft Corporation so that would be the second one click on that and you can say see all company filings if you wanted to um, but we don't want to see all of them we just want to see the 10 K filings I'm not going to bother to put in a date and I will search. Now, when it first came up, you can say you can see all these filings that are already there. And within there is the 10K if you keep going further through these uh, entries. But uh, I'm going to filter it down to just 10K reports. The very first one at the top would be the most recent one filed on July 26, 2012. As you can tell, Microsoft does not have a December 31st year, and because that would have been a filing too late in relation to December 31st. They actually have a June 30th uh, year end date, which we'll discover here. As you can see, the filing data for that 10K come up. I want to look at the financial statements. And let's say I want to look at the income statement to see what their net income was. As you can see, three years were provided for these 12 month periods. They're ending June 30th. And they have 73 billion in revenues because these are reported in millions. So watch out what it's reported in. It's not 73,000. That wouldn't make sense for Microsoft Corp. And their net income is 16, almost 17 billion dollars. And down below you have earnings per share and other information. So there's uh, footnotes and other things related to these financials. But that's all I wanted to show you. So hopefully it helped. And aloha.